Look at the color of that water! Sky was incredible, but I was excited about our next destination, the Outer Hebrides. We got the three hour ferry from Skye to Uist. We had planned to spend four days exploring North and South Uist and Eriskay. The group of islands known as Uist are around 50 miles long and only five miles wide. We spent the first afternoon exploring North Uist and scouting out some possible kite locations I had seen on Google Earth. But access was fairly limited. You really need a 4x4, a jet ski and a few weeks to explore this place's full potential. I was blown away by the landscape. I had never seen anything like it. There were so many causeways, islands, estuaries and lakes. Endless playgrounds for kiteboarding. The forecast for the following day looked very promising and we found a nice spot on the beach to camp for the night, ready to seize the day ahead. My wife and I decided to make the most of her maternity leave and rent a motorhome to road trip around Scotland and the Outer Hebrides with our six month old baby and two dogs. The plan was to hike, kite, wing and circumnavigate islands whilst exploring Scotland's epic scenery. What is up guys and welcome to another Scotland episode. We are on the ferry to North Uist. Um, we got the ferry from Uig on the Isle of Skye. Uh, if you didn't see that video check it out here but yeah we're going to be here for five or six days exploring north and south uist and also lewis and harris it's made up of around four or five islands these are the outer hebrides looking at them as we're coming in quite similar to tyree fairly flat with these big sort of mound hills randomly but very rugged harsh coastline you can tell this place gets battered i was doing a bit of research last night and apparently the average wind speed is a force four to five which is like 20 25 knots every day average which is mental um i've heard a lot about uist kite surfing in uist as well so really excited to check it out uh. in US last night around four o'clock went for a little explore found a cool little spot to camp on the beach um, which is really nice and then spent the morning cruising around looking for kite spots I checked out a few causeways I was thinking about jumping over but a little bit tricky it's low tide right now so there's no water anywhere it's got really really big tides here uh, like 10 meters or something crazy so I found this really cool spot which we've parked the motorhome up uh, right on a grassy verge on a lovely beach it's still kind of uh, beach right now but I think you can see that when the tide comes up it's gonna be epic this whole island is like covered in lakes and water and I think if you had time to explore and you had means to explore like with a boat or a quad bike or a 4x4 vehicle I think you could find some insane kite spots here um, yeah, a lot of the issue is like access like there's some big fences to obviously to keep out the sheep and keep the sheep in um, so you can't access some of these epic spots that you can see but i'm pretty stoked with the spot i found today and really excited to go for a kite on the code and formula just do some big air maybe jump a few of these rocks so after like an hour of getting ready i have to take the whole garage out to set up like everything's got to come out and everything's got to be broken down each time we're ready, baby's ready, We've set up the pram. Grace is gonna try filming with the long lens. Film crew's ready.
There's some big rain squalls coming through. It's been really cool exploring this massive expanse of water. Albeit a little bit scary by myself. It'd be nice to have some buddies to hang out with. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.